What's up guys? I'm student Dr. Thompson and today I'm going to talk to you about a company called Picmonic. Picmonic makes picture mnemonics to help you study for boards. These picture mnemonics contain uh, objects and items that recall to your memory high yield stuff for boards and for the MCAT. Um, so if you're a pre-med you'll want to check this out as well. Um, so a while back I did a movie on how to memorize in medical school where I talked about a memorization technique called the method of loci. Essentially that is um, a method where you create a mental journey in your mind and objects along your journey are placed there to recall certain bits of information, facts about something you're trying to you know, memorize. Well, Picmonix uses this same exact technique on steroids, really, where they've created an illustrated scenario on uh, what they call a card. These cartoon characters on these cards um, are designed to recall certain facts about the subject you're learning about. And then along with the card, there's an audio file, and the, the speaker tells you, you know, this character represents anemia for example, okay? Um, and then along, okay, so you've got the card, you've got the audio file, and then there's a summary tab that you click down, and it's essentially the textbook material behind all that um, the card is teaching you about. Okay, so um, I think we should go check it out, and I'll take you onto my account, and we'll go right onto their website. Um, there's 382 of these things, so keep in mind, this is uh, pretty beefy. Each card contains probably 15 facts about one thing that you should remember. Okay, let's go check it out. This is my Picmonic, basically, this is my account. Um, this is what they call their library where it shows all the different cards that they have. Uh, again, they have 382 of these things. There's the MCAT trial, medical trial, and nursing trial. This is what you'll get as your free account. Um, so everyone can get some kind of free account to try it out, see what you think. I recommend that you guys go and check this out um, as soon as you can. Okay, so let's, um, we'll select these cards and I'll show you how this works. So this is kind of going through all the different subjects. You can see there's 19 cards about en enzyme deficiencies. Um, random smattering of stuff here gram negative bacteria there's 33 cards uh... so very comprehensive <clears throat> i'm gonna go down here to vitamins and we'll select those as well and i'll kind of show you what i'm talking about um, where the objects recall information okay uh... let's go to vitamin c okay you can see over here on the left hand side um, the information is all written uh, about objects in the picture mnemonic um, vitamin C is represented by a viking orange full of vitamin C okay so every time they talk about a vitamin it's going to be a viking no matter what card you're on okay um, scroll down here to the bottom you'll see anemia it's always represented by an anemone. Whether you're studying um, vitamins or you're studying other bacterial effects on the body or whatever. Um, <clears throat> anytime you're talking about antioxidants, you'll see the anteater ox shield um, right here. Okay, so hopefully you guys are following along with me here. Um, so, for example, um, let's go back and we'll try... Uh, vitamin B12 deficiency and you'll see over here you've got the Viking B's and there's 12 of them so every time it says vitamin you're gonna get a Viking makes it really easy to memorize stuff every time you're talking about anemia you're gonna get this anemone character down here on the bottom in this case it's a prune throwing anemia and so that would be pernicious anemia is this making sense to you guys um, okay so let's try Let's try to go to Helicobacter pylori. So this is a, a bacteria, and this has got, for example, 14 different facts on here. And I'll just play this for a second so you guys get the, um, the hang of it. Helicobacter pylori. Helicobacter pylori, shown by the helicopter bacteria, 
is a gram-negative bacteria, the gram-negative devil, that is a bacillus portrayed by the rod. This bacteria is curved, depicted by the curve of the tail of the helicopter, and has polar flagellum, the pole with flagellar flag. H. pylori is the most common cause of gas... Okay, so you guys get it. Um, it's, go it's an audio file that goes through the picture and tells you what everything represents. I guarantee you watch this thing more than, uh, you know, once or twice through and you study the image. You're going to get this image stuck in your head and anytime you get a test question about Helicobacter pylori, this image will pop up and all this stuff, this is like the perfect stuff for test questions. Okay, so let's check out the summary slide just so you guys can see this. Okay, any questions on it? You've got like textbook quality material here um, about this. You can also, in your account, make notes, specific things your teacher really wants you to memorize. You can write that in here. I don't really do that. It's too much work. Um, and then over on the side, there's a social networking, you know, type of discussion about this. <clears throat> um, okay, so guys, um, in conclusion, I think the pros of learning with Picmonic is that uh, it's really fast to learn one of these cards. First of all, you're getting this information in class. This is just for recall and board preparation or MCAT preparation. Um, so the recall is amazing. It's very comprehensive. And this is one of the six things I plan to use um, for board review. It's a must-have. And stay tuned for more videos where I talk about all the six of those things. Um, the cons, sometimes after you know looking at a hundred of these, you start to kind of jumble some of these images together. Like, was that lime lemon really squeezing onto the rhino head, or was that lemon squeezing onto an anemone? So that's my biggest con. It's nothing the company's done wrong. It's just this way of learning. You can jumble these things together. Some another con is some of the create. Sometimes uh, someone will draw one of these cards and create them, and it's just not that high quality and I can kind of tell how they draw and sometimes the person you know there's there's some cards that are better than others um, but having said that they're, they're still very helpful even though they're not as good if that makes sense it's kind of pricey so it's 25 bucks a month or 250 bucks for one year and then it's 399 for two years um, Picmonic is pretty new and so they do a lot of offers where you can become an ambassador for your school and get a sweet deal um, but those offers usually don't come till the spring so that comes to my final question when should I buy Picmonic or when should I subscribe to this program um, I think you can use this all throughout your first year and I'm definitely using it in my second year I got it last year so my first year um, <clears throat> about three quarters of the way through so everything that I've learned on Picmonic so far, I still remember. And if I don't, it just takes one time through those cards. Um, guys, Picmonic, one of my five faves. This is awesome. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more great videos about board preparation and the six things that I'm going to do to prepare for boards. Um, as always, thanks for watching.